Fencing is one of only four sports to feature at every modern Olympic Games. It's also the sport that's given Italy the largest number of Olympic medals, 107 altogether since 1912. Hi Transworld Sport, I'm Margarita Grambassi, the foil fencing world champion. 28-year-old Grambassi is the current foil world champion and a strong contender for gold in Beijing next year. Grambassi, who also won a silver in the team event at the 2006 World Championships, believes that her nation's preeminence in the sport is down to Italian genes. Everyone is very passionate about this sport here. We're probably so good at it because it's a sport which requires a lot of creativity. And I think that creativity is very predominant in an Italian's DNA. Transworld Sport met Grambassi in Narni, a medieval town that's situated one hour's drive north of Rome. As the legend goes, the city might have inspired the works of C.S. Lewis and his fantasy books, The Chronicles of Narnia. I don't know if there's magic here. It's magical for me because it's very different. And it seems to come straight out of a fairy tale. Especially at night. There's a soft light. And every year they put on a wonderful medieval show. It's such a lovely place to live in. The life of an Italian fencer doesn't compare to that of professional footballers. Still, Gran Bassi has been able to transform local hero status into national celebrity. Some people recognize me and ask for autographs or photos. I'm happy about it, especially for the sport, because I think it's a fantastic sport and obviously one for which I have a huge passion. And I like the idea of inspiring that enthusiasm in other people. Passion is something that Gran Bassi exudes with little effort. In 2004, she was nominated one of the most beautiful athletes at the Athens Olympic Games by the French press. What do you think? Do I look good? Ciao. Invitations to appear on TV programs are plenty, as well as public appearances and after-dinner speaking engagements. Still, Gran Bassi has managed to keep the balance between sport and her newfound celebrity lifestyle. Being considered an attractive girl doesn't affect my athletic performance at all. I have to say truthfully that I'd rather be considered the best fencer rather than the most attractive. But I've always looked the way I look, and my success in the sport came later. I hope to continue my sporting achievement because it's better to be considered attractive and good rather than just attractive or good. <laughs> Last year at the World Championships in Turin, Gran Bassi proved that she can cope with the adulation. In the semi-final, she beat Giovanna Trillini, the legendary Italian who's won nine World Championships and seven Olympic medals. Giovanna Trillini is a great champion and is probably the person from whom I've drawn most inspiration, from a point of view of technique. There's a special story between Giovanna and me. There's a ten-year age gap between us. And I remember when Giovanna won the Olympics in Barcelona in 1992. I was a great fan of hers. A few years later, I had the opportunity to train with her. And then several years after that, I was in the same team team as her. And last year, I managed to beat her. In the final, Gran Bassi beat another Italian, the 33-year-old Valentina Vezzali. With four world titles and four Olympic golds, Vezzali is Gran Bassi's teammate, but also her greatest rival. Beating her in a world championship is no doubt more difficult than beating her anywhere else. The defeat probably rankled her because she was aiming to win her fifth world championship, which would have been a record. 
but instead she lost and probably felt really bad at losing the possibility of doing this in front of her public in Italy, which I think made her suffer more than normal. My winning the World Championship was the result of a lot of hard work. Even so, it came as a huge surprise, even to me, especially as I beat the two best fencers in the world. I think that I won the World Championship during the team training, in the sense that last year I approached training with a different kind of maturity than in previous years, especially on a mental level. Mental toughness is fundamental in fencing. Combatants have bouts of just three minutes, and match-winning decisions have to be made in a split second. Fencing is a sport where you have to rely on improvisation and having a sixth sense. You need an incredible focus as being nervous can really influence your performance. The times that I haven't succeeded were due to the fact that I was too emotional and tense to visualize what I wanted to achieve. But when I'm on form, I'm like a runaway horse. This week, Gran Bassi is competing in the 2007 World Championships held in St. Petersburg, Russia. The competition also acts as a qualification round for the Beijing Olympics next year. My dream is to win an Olympic medal. But I'm a person who has their feet firmly on the ground. So I think you have to take one step at a time and gain confidence from your past record. Currently, there is no doubt that I lead the rankings. And hopefully, I'll qualify for the Olympics.